Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully created crude functionality that is insert, update and delete functionality for our product module. So in this episode, we will add a source feature in our product module for our billing and inventory management system. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. <laughs> So first of all, we'll need to open our project, which is any store for me, and open the solution file that is any store the solution, and the project will open on Microsoft Visual Studio. So this is our product form. We need to add source feature for this product module. For this, we will need to create a new method for our source uh, method in product DAL. So go to the solution explorer and go to product DAL in the DAL folder. Uh, double click on product DAL and open the DAL for product DAL. So this is it. So let's minimize update products. Now at the end, let's create a region and this will be yes here CSS method for product module and has in region and here we will create a data table type uh, method so public data table search and we will pass a string variable keywords and that's it we have an error but don't worry about it uh, it will be fixed by creating data table uh, variable and returning it so data creating data table to hold value from database so data table dt equals to new data table and then we'll return uh, this dt so return dt so this will uh, solve our error uh, but at first we need to create SQL connection for database for db connection so sql connection con is equals to new sql connection my connection is string we created in the top now between data table and return dt we need to write actual code to search the product based on id title and category so we'll start with try block try then cats exception ex then we will display message if we have any exception errors so x message box dot so ex dot message and finally we'll close the database connection so con dot close so this is it now in try block we'll write the query SQL query to search the product so let's write the query a string SQL is equals to select a string from TBL underscore products where ID like percentage percentage plus plus keywords or name like percentage percentage keywords I forgot to concatenate so this is it and at last or I think percentage is 
not here percentage is here so percentage and percentage or category category like percentage percentage keywords so this is the query to search the products from database based on id name and category so now we need to create a sql command to execute the query so let's create an sql command query sql command cmd is equals to new sql command and here we will pass sql sql and con so this is it now we also need to create an sql data adapter data adapter to hold hold the data from database temporarily so sql data adapter adapter is equals to new sql data adapter using cmd so this is it now we need to open a database connection connection so connection dot open then we need to uh, pass the uh, data in dt from adapter so we need to pass the value from adapter to dt so adapter dot fill dt so this is it guys we have successfully created a method to search the products based on id name and title in our database so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s now add a functionality in our source text box so just select the short text box and go to properties and click on thunder icon and double click on this text change event to create a text change event uh, event so just double click on it we have successfully uh, created a text change event but first we need to get the keyword get the keyword from form so string Keywords is equal to txt search dot text and then we'll check if the keywords is null or not. If the keyword is not null, then we will search the uh, products uh, based on the keyword. Else, we'll display all the uh, products. So search the product products here display all the products so display all the product for that we will uh, need data table data table dt is equals to pdal dot search and we'll pass keywords and dgb products dot data source data source is equals to dt so this will search the products from database and display in our data grid view similarly for displaying all the products data table dt is equals to pdal dot select and dgv products the data source is equals to dt so this is it guys we have successfully created an event and written the code to uh, display uh, the products based on source query so let's check it out if this works or not so i'll just click on start and let's wait and login admin admin and user type is admin and login is login successful let's go to products and we only have a single product so let's add few products more so i will add fanta and drinks um, f fanta let's 
cold drink drink and let's add this price to 20 rupees add product successfully here we have fanta let's add something else like cookies cookies this is a food so food is snacks so let's add is 100 rupees and add okay so we have successfully we added uh, two products more so we have three products for now let's search based on id two sorry invalid column and category i missed uh, o in our excel query i think let's look out for our error uh, let's go to our product DL and in our search developer where category category I forgot I missed here O so category now let's save it by compress control and S so just make the changes uh, here if you did not do any mistake then no need to make changes but I did a mistake instead of O I type P so I need to may I needed to make changes so I'll just press ctrl and s to save and let's start the project login and user type is admin and let's login login successful products and let's type one so no two yes we have we don't have one we don't have one product with one id so three yes fro yes it works based on id let's name y so it also filters based on name and categories food so it displays two uh, products related to food category let's type for drink so one so our source functionality works perfectly for our product module so this is it guys we have successfully added source feature for our product module in our billing and inventory management system so thank you so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like and share on social networking site and if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment or reply as soon as possible so if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on little bell icon so you will get notified when i upload new videos so in the next video we will start our new module for our client and client and supplier module where we will add the details of client and supplier so till then see you soon bye bye